National Collegiate Basketball Champions, UCLA. Number 52, at forward, six feet six, a junior from Santa Barbara, California, Keith Wilkes. Number 54, at forward, six feet five, a senior from Denver, Colorado, Larry Farmer. Number 32 at center, 6 feet 11 a junior from Mesa, California, Bill Walton. Number 53 at guard, 6 feet 4 a senior from Compton, California, Larry Hollyfield. Number 43 at guard, 6 feet 4 a junior from Cedar, California, Greg Lee. And the coach of UCLA, John Wooden. Oh, 
close early in the game. They don't want it to get too physical. Great pass in by Hollyfield to Walton, 6-2, UCLA, Hubert Delari. No stall tonight or deep freeze by Memphis State. They're going right after him. Keenan hit it, 6 to 4. That's his shot, Larry Keenan. A high jumper, he has a beautiful touch on the ball. 6 4, UCLA. Walton spinning. Look at that quickness of Bill Walton. 8 4. 6 11, as you see, power spin off that seven. Very agile big man, Larry. Into the fourth court for Memphis State. Jump shot by Keenan Walton, partially blocked at that time. Robinson retrieved. Robinson jump shooting. Keenan's up. He gets it. Eight to six. Larry Keenan now has three baskets off Walton. And that is why Memphis State hopes to give UCLA all they can handle. That big front line. his rump into his defender. Second team foul on UCLA. Remember, after six common fouls, we have the bonus free throw situation. They're trying to trap Finch. Larry gets it across without any problems. Eight to six, UCLA. Nearly three minutes gone. Reflected out by Greg Lee. Coach Wooden with his top assistant. And there's Gene Parto in the light suit and the glasses, just voted the coach of the year in the university division by the National Association of Basketball Coaches. Larry Finch got up. Good. Game tied, 8 off. He had to arch that shot high in the air. He knew Bill Walton would be trying to intimidate him. Game is tied. Follows his own shot. Ball away jumper. And the tip in. No good. No good. I think Walton had his hand up on the rim. Previous shot. There's a replay on that missed shot. You can see the ball is on the rim. So is Walton's hand. That's offensive goal tending right there. Eight to eight. Tied up. jump shot. Walton has, has blocked one, but he can't get to him otherwise. The way Keenan can jump, he almost matches Walton's physical size. Hollyfield hits the score tie, 10 to 10. Four minutes gone, a tie ball game for the national championship. Gets it through the top. Very fine ball handler, Larry Finch. He's the playmaker of the team. Jump shot. He hits it. 10, Memphis State. Memphis State deliberated about playing a stall game or a deliberate game and said, no, we're going to come out and play it our way. We'll take our chances and go right with them. Keith Wilk. Robinson right on him. Lowry trying to take it away. Bill Walton off the pivot now. in a very tough, aggressive man-to-man. -to -man. You see how they found a very tough time handling that ball, dribbling around in that midcourt area. I think UCLA call time, if they do, it's a rarity for John Wooden. We'll call, uh, talk to you about that. Right now with a timeout, the score, Memphis State 12, UCLA 10. You drive. Is that? That's my dad. Dad, we're getting married tonight. I love him. You're always trying Rachel, to do this. Rachel, Rachel, it's okay. Just take your mother's car. Cadillac XLR. Breakthrough. Cholesterol. It comes buttered, battered, 
basted and roasted, but it also comes from mom, dad, grandma Rose, and grandpa Joe. Your cholesterol doesn't just come from food. It also has a lot to do with family history. Ask your doctor about Vitorin. A healthy diet is important, but when it's not enough, adding Vitorin can help. Vitorin treats the two sources of cholesterol, food, and what your body makes naturally based on family history. Vitorin lowers bad cholesterol 45 to 60%. Vitorin is not for everyone, including people with liver problems, women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Unexplained muscle pain or weakness could be a sign of a rare but serious side effect. Vitorin may interact with other medicines or certain foods, increasing your risk of getting the serious side effect. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. Continue to follow a healthy diet and ask your doctor about adding Vitorin. For the two sources of cholesterol, remember the name Vitorin. That's Vitorin. Wooden does not like to call the first time out of a game. He preaches to his team about conditioning. Psychologically, he doesn't think it's good to call the first time out, but he just has. He has something important to say to his team. And Bill Walton ties the game at 12 all. Eight points for Bill Walton, eight points for Larry Keaton. Bill Walton takes the rebound. Ronnie Robinson. Fourth team foul on Memphis State. Here's the replay on this. Keenan trying to get his shot away. Walton had him well covered that time. And inside, Robinson pushed off with his left elbow, committing the foul. Game is tied, 12 to 12. Memphis a very aggressive man to man. Teamed him and he fed off. Beautiful feet off by Wall. Lowry to fence. Foul is called on Greg Lee. Third team foul on UCLA. First foul on Lee. Memphis State ball under their own bucket. 14 12 UCLA. 14 and a half left to play in the first half. That was a gamble lob in. Finch shot blocked by Hollyfield, spinning to Robinson and ties it at 14 all. Ronnie Robinson. And he shoots 53% from the field, so they can't let him free out there. <laughs> coming down and getting his good shot. Finch has it, but he's out of bounds. UCLA's ball. Game tied, 14 to 14. 13 minutes, 40 seconds to play in the first half. Greg Lee in the fourth ball. That fouls on Larry Keenan. Team foul on Memphis State. He was holding Bill Walton. That's the first foul on Keenan. Larry Hollifield will throw it in. Keenan feels that he can jump with the best of them and that he can handle Walton one on one. violation called on UCLA. Memphis State ball. They go back to their zone all course press. They'll try and put two men on one and trap him into flexor pass and steal. There it is, you see. They did it. They forced Larry Finch into an error. Greg Lee. Five baskets for Walton. 
Martin already. That's the count of 16 to 14 UCLA. And I believe a technical foul has also been called. A nation mourns as Newt Rockney, legendary coach of the Fighting Irish, dies at the age of 43 in an airplane crash in a pasture outside Bazaar, Kansas. At his funeral back in South Bend, thousands will recall great moments along the way to his three national championships in five unbeaten seasons. Rockney's 881 winning percentage remains unmatched. That was March 31st, 1931. Performance and protection that goes and goes. For 5,000, 7,500, or 15,000 miles, introducing new high endurance oils from Mobil. Three new formulations that provide powerful, long lasting protection of critical engine parts. For 5,000, 7,500, or 15,000 miles, guaranteed. New high endurance oils from Mobil. The oil that's changing oil. When you've got a serious leak, it's time for Leak Ender 2000. It fixes any leak fast. No matter what's leaking, just spray it with Leak Ender 2000. And in minutes, the leak is sealed. Look, we'll cut this garden hose with a knife, then shut off the water and spray on Leak Ender 2000. Minutes later, the hose is as good as new. The cut is sealed. Leak Ender 2000 is a unique compound that fills and seals any crack or separation as it hardens. Why put up with gushing gum? Gutters, dripping drains, wet windowsills, and rain-soaked RVs. Leak Ender 2000 stops all those leaks, and it's yours for only $14.95. Call now and we'll double your order. We'll send you this giant size can at no extra charge. Order now. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free 1-800-883-5995 or send check or money order for $14.95 plus $5.95 shipping to the address on your screen. Call 1-800-883-5995. The echo in the gym, the squeak of the shoes, the buzzer, the brick, the whistle, the crowd, the swish. I left the game, but it'll never leave me. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us are going pro in something other than sports. Before this year's Masters, Sports Century reveals the story of Phil Mickelson. I don't mind if players or media criticize me for reckless play because I have a lot more wins than any of them. Sports Century, Phil Mickelson, 8 p.m. Monday on ESPN Classic. Dell has great deals on your complete PC waiting for you now. And get up to 30% off select Dell systems. This Dimension desktop with an Intel Celeron processor is $399 after a 10% instant savings. Plus, get a free printer. Dell Notebooks start at just $637. And get up to 30% off select Dell systems. It's only a click or call away. Get more out of now. Dell PCs use Intel Celeron processors. Discover the amazing hitting secrets of America's finest baseball school in Teaching the Mechanics of the Major League Swing 2. Tommy Mansky's powerful teaching video that features the same revolutionary techniques that have produced baseball world's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back AAU National Championship teams. Parents, players, and coaches have been simply amazed at their students' rapid week-by-week -week improvement. These award-winning techniques benefit players of all ages and ability levels and make a valuable addition to any coach's library and a great gift. At just $29.95, call now.
Want to keep your car looking pit crew perfect? Introducing DuPont Teflon Car Care Products. When you use DuPont Teflon Wax, Protect, and Tire Shine, dirt, mud, and grime have a hard time sticking. So your car practically keeps itself shiny. DuPont Teflon Car Care Products, a miracle of science from DuPont. Delivery pizza, baby. Play it for the last piece. <laughs> These gardens have the most exquisite Venus flight. Oh, he likes you. Go where you want with your free weekend from Avis. Yes. Now rent for a week and get a free weekend to use later. Find our lowest prices at avis.com. What do you think so far, Tom? 
I think that Gene Bartow is probably over there in his lineup right now with his huddle, with his team, saying we've got to do something about that ball coming into Bill Walton. He has 14 points already, and when he gets his hands on it, he is killing us. So we'll probably see a little different defensive alignment so that you can keep that ball out of the center. Bill Walton, you know, has tendonitis in his knees. He grew too quickly. He did seven out of seven from the floor. An hour before every game, hour and a half, he packs those knees with a uh, hydraulic uh, hot pack system. Yes. And then after the game, he has to pack his knees in ice. Every game. Wilkes follows. Walton just missed the tip. No good. Up on that rim again. Yeah, he was up there again. He made contact with the ball. But he is charging that basket tonight. Nothing is going to keep him away from it. I've never seen him move quicker as he is off the pivot tonight, Tom. He's really fired up. And his lightning moves as he spins off the post. Larry Finch didn't have control of the ball. He's fouled by Larry Farmer. Second foul on Farmer, the 16th foul on UCLA. Larry Finch gets two shots, foul in the act of shooting. Larry Fish this year hit 83 percent of his free throws. He has two for two thus far. Now three for three, and the score is 23-21 UCLA. Ten minutes, 26 seconds to play. This kid's really uptight. Isn't he? He's running all over the place. And he only needs four points, three now, to become the all-time leading scorer in Memphis State basketball history. 23-22, UCLA. Tommy Curtis is going to be coming in this game shortly. Hollyfield jump shooting. He hits it. 25-22, UCLA. said at the beginning of the game, if Ollie hits his first, he's in for a good night. He's about three for three now from that corner. Foul call, uh, West, West ball. Second foul on him. We have the bonus situation now. One and one for Bill Wall. Here's the little dynamic sixth man of UCLA. He scored 22 points Saturday. He was UCLA's outstanding player. And he was their top player against University of San Francisco in the finals of the Western Regional. Dave Myers, the human spider, has also come in, number 34. Larry Farmer's gone out. And Greg Lee has gone out. UCLA has broken a pattern in their last six games of the season. They were behind at this point. They're leading right now. Ronnie Robinson takes the rebound. Bill Larry brings it down. Larry Keaton still on the bench for Memphis State. Ball with my bench. He set it out for us. On the follow, the ball goes to Keith Wilkes. Wilkes holds up while Walton trots down to get in his low post position. UCLA ahead by three points. Walton's inside. 27-22. 16 points for Bill Walton. This is a sentimental favorite team here tonight, Memphis State. Memphis is only 290 miles from St. Louis. Field gamble. Fish's shot is up in and out. Walt clears the board. Starts the fast break to Curtis. Curtis shovels it to Myers. Myers underneath the Wilkes. And Wilkes took too many steps. But we've seen several unbelievable performances here during the NCAA finals and semifinals. Bill Walton is putting on one tonight. He is unbelievable. Curtis, Fitch rushed his shot, Walton clears the board, pass to Hollyfield, Hollyfield to play tight end in football, he's that strong, now Tommy Curtis sets it up, UCLA fans giving their team around, and there's Walton for an easy one, 29-22 UCLA, no basket, no basket because the referees feel that he dunked the ball, Walton so it. high that he went up over the rim and dropped it. We'll watch this pass. There's Keith Wilkes with the ball. Hit the Bill Walton. He goes high above the rim, but he turned his palms down, and that is considered dunking, so they take the basket away. They're on Walton. He was shaking his head about it. There's an anti-dunk.
dunking rule in college. Bill Cook, the freshman, has come in here, number 43. Makes the shot. Walton up. He's controlling the board now. Keith Wilk. 22 UCLA. Larry Finch trying to penetrate. Bill Cook, he traveled with the ball. And the UCLA defense is starting to bother Memphis State. UCLA sets up in a full court, 2-2-1 two -two situation, trying to get that ball pass, make you take that long pass and make it difficult for you to bring the ball up the floor. Time out with the score. UCLA 29, Memphis State 22. Wonder what it's like being an old guy. Age gives you wisdom, and age makes you wear your pants up around your head. Anyways, I got wisdom now. I go to McDonald's, hit that dollar menu, get the McChicken sandwich, fries, save all kinds of money. That's young guy wisdom. And these are young guy pants. Catherine, wait. Leave me alone. I'm not worthy of you. It is I that am not worthy of you. How can you say that? Edward, you have been nothing but honorable. I've been a fool. My whole life. Catherine, I love you. I've always loved you. Oh, Reggie. paid for 300 horses. Are you sure you're getting all of them? Introducing new Q from Quaker State. Q's patented heat-activated formula fights power robbing friction better than any conventional oil. To help maximize power and let all your horses come out. New Q from Quaker State. Unleash all your horses. Own a timeshare, turn it into cash. Timeshares only got us our full asking price in just a few weeks. We couldn't believe it. Own a campground membership, turn it into cash. Timeshares only sold our campground membership fast. And for the price we wanted. Timeshares only is the nation's largest, number one most successful timeshare agency. We represent properties from the biggest names in the timeshare industry. When it comes to selling, renting, or buying timeshares, no one comes close to timeshares only. With over $2 billion of timeshares sold in the last six months, now's the perfect time to sell, rent, or buy. And no one sells more timeshares than we do. We work for timeshares only. And our timeshare was rented before the next monthly payment was due. You owe it to yourself to work with the best. Timeshares only, the most trusted name in timeshares. Call 800-789-0044 to sell, rent, or buy your timeshare and get your free information kit. Don't delay. Call 800-789-0044 now. 29-22. UCLA against Indiana fell behind twice in the first half. Rallied to take a 20-point lead, 18 and a half, 20 early in the second half, and Indiana nearly overhauled them. UCLA's been behind. Uh, they got behind San Francisco early in the finals of the Western Regional. They can explode quickly. Dr. K is back in the game now, so we'll see if he can handle well. No one else has been able to. Larry Keaton has come back in number 35. Dave Meyer. Tommy Curtis outside. That fouls on Bill Walton. Two fouls on Walton. And the Memphis State fans go wild. They like anything to go against him. They can't believe his performance. And many of the other people can't either. But Kurt, I've watched this young man all year, his entire career. And I can say, Coming down the pike, you have never seen a better player. You think he's the best big man you've ever seen, don't you? At this point in college basketball, he's the big, best big man ever to play the game. Quite a statement when you played against Chamberlain, Beam Jabbar, Bill Russell, there's Keenan rebounding. Goal-tending ball on Bill Walton. 
Bill Walton for Cool Jenny. Watch how high he gets up there. There's Keenan way up, and you can see the great jumping ability of Bill Walton. He's at least a foot and a half above that basket, but he did catch the ball on his down the run. You blocked the shot on his way up, it's all right. Not on the way down. Dave Myers, shot blocked by Keenan, out of bounds with it. UCLA's ball out. Larry Keenan makes a big difference to this team when he's in there. He definitely does. He can control the middle in there, too, but he's got to work extra hard to go up with Walton every time. Keenan has scored 10 points. 29-24, UCLA. Walton. The tip is good by Dave Myers. Dave Myers is going to be an outstanding player next year at UCLA. Six feet seven, a sophomore. Just starting to come along. 31-24, UCLA. Tommy Curtis. That's up. He's a boy man. Low double post. Two wing man. Hollyfield in the wall. Got it. 33 24. Bill Walton has 18 points in the first half. Larry Finch gets it across. Yeah, I have a little attitude, but I've earned it. I've put in the hours. I practice every day. I've learned from the best, and I have no doubt that I can play at the highest level. Right now, I'm guessing I'll end up in either Chicago or New Orleans. Most good jazz musicians do. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us are going pro in something other than sports. I'm almost free! I'm almost free! Just one look! The stupid things people do with their bets. Um, uh, my frog's dead. Wait a minute. You're not my cat. Neurotic single women unite! Cheap Seats, 10 Eastern Monday on ESPN Classic. The main event. Real Classics Extra, 8 Eastern Sunday. You know, ideas and inventions come from people in all walks of life. And most of the century's top inventions came from individuals, not companies. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? Are you interested in trying to submit your idea to companies for a good faith review and in trying to patent it as well? If so, Invention Submission Corporation has information to help you get started. ISC is America's largest inventor service firm with over 50 offices nationwide. Call this toll-free number now to see how to get this free information. The information includes forms to assure confidentiality, a form to record and date your idea, plus an informative brochure that explains how to submit your idea to companies through ISC's data bank and how to apply for a patent. Even if you only have an idea for improving an existing product, you'll want to call now for ISC's free information. For your inventor's information, call toll-free 1-800-754-0077. That's 1-800-754-0077. Six turners, turnovers in a game. Memphis two. Sometimes that doesn't mean a lot when UCLA plays. They like to make mistakes. They like to play aggressively. Foul on Tommy Curtis. First foul on Curtis. And we'll have the one-on-one -on -one situation now. Bill Cook, just a freshman. 
He's a local boy from Memphis. He's an All-American high school player. And he is a good-sized freshman. He is six feet five. Weighs 200 pounds. Here's the bonus shot. 33, 27, UCLA. Good shooter from that line, too, Kurt. He hits 83%. They have made five out of six free throws. UCLA's made only one out of four. 33, 28, free throws are keeping Memphis close. We have five minutes and 40 seconds to play in the first half. Got into a zone inside. They've got to do something inside the stop wall. Right back out to Curtis. Larry Fish takes it down. Just the jumper. Hits it. 33 30. Myers gunning. White tips it in. 35-30 UCLA. Bill Walt, 20 points. That foul call on Dave Myers. Johnny Wooden thought that Myers was run over by the dribbler. First foul on Dave Myers. Johnny Wooden. Greg Lee's come back in. If Vince sinks this free throw, he will become Memphis State's all-time leading scorer. Larry Keenan up for the rebound. Out to Finch. Finch says, come on, let's set something up. Bill Cook trying to get a screen for him up. Myers taps it over to Greg Lee, UCLA ball. Four minutes, 40 seconds to go in the half. UCLA ahead by five points. Well, that's what Greg Lee could do, that lob pass in, hangs it up for Walt to stuff. 37-30, 22 points for Bill Walt. Bench beating Buford, Walt the third on him. Three big ones on Walton. You put one in there. He said, I'm going to challenge the big fella, and you have to do that. Let's take a look at this one. There's Finch going in for the basket, dribbling across, goes up, finds Buford. Buford in the corner. He goes up. Walton pins it, but at the same time, catches Buford and knocks him down. So Walton has the three big ones, and it looks like we're going to have a substitution. Buford's free throw, one more shot for him. Ben Nader will come in and replace Bill Walton. Walton has three fouls, 4-14 to play and a half. 37-31. Ben Nader, born in Holland, to play first straight for both teams. In fact, just about all of them. But he plays behind Bill Walton. Year. Memphis State in that sagging 2 3 zone. And the Nader loses the ball to Peanut. Larry Finch foul. In a hurry. And he's fouled by Hollyfield. Larry Hollyfield. Finch again goes to the line. Again, will attempt to set the all-time career scoring record for Memphis State. And he's only one. If he sinks it, he will have 1,855 points. Larry Farmer's coming in. A technical foul has also been called on Hollyfield. He evidently said something to the official. Each team now has had a technical. And they get Hollyfield out of there to get him cool off and send Larry Farmer in for him. This is Larry Finch shooting. Finch a good shooter from that line, 
Bears hit. 37 to 32, 15 points for Finch. The all-time scoring leader now in Memphis State history. This is the technical foul. And they'll get the ball out of bounds. 37 to 33. Larry Finch has 16 points. He's the high for Memphis State. Bill Walton has 20. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SUV Championships. Anybody can ride an SUV. Not everybody rides it right. He's pushing it too hard. Without respect for what they're capable of, it's easy to see why a lot of riders take the role. The SUVs are big and powerful, and on top of one, you can feel almost invincible. Easy now, big fella. Keeping your SUV in off course. Look at that control! That's the idea, right? There are riding mowers, and then there's the edge cutting system. Only John Deere gives you the edge. With dependability beneath you and your John Deere dealer behind you, you'll always have a John Deere yard to look forward to. Own a John Deere now starting at $14.99. Nothing runs like a deer. Drink variety. Sonic's got it, others don't. Make Sonic your morning drink stop and choose from thousands of different flavor combinations. Start your day with a fresh Sonic Sunrise or come in for our classic cherry limeade. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. Have you ever wanted to develop your artistic abilities? If so, you may already have the interest and desire needed to become a serious art student. To find out, simply call toll-free and Art Instruction Schools will send you this enjoyable art test. Since 1914, we've helped thousands of aspiring artists become more skilled, more confident, and more creative in their art. Call today for your free art test. We'll help you become a better artist. Call 1-800-754-0077. We have three minutes and 50 seconds. Get back, get back. Bob Backlund. 
take the all-court press off. He turned the ball over. Finch turns it over on his dribble. UCLA's ball. This game is tied 39-39. A minute 49 to play in the first half. A battle for the national championship. 19,000 roaring fans. St. Louis, Missouri Arena. Ben Nader on the pivot. He smokes. In and out. Nader could get the rebound. Keen it out to Cook. Bill Cook. UCLA's ball. A minute 24 to go in a half. High game. They're going to move on Enzo. Meyer shot. On the rebound. Robinson off the board with the ball. I tell you what they're doing on that zone, Tommy. They're moving so quickly. And the real determination. Sliding, sliding, sliding. And it makes it very difficult to overload the zone in that case. They may try and play for the last shot unless they're crowded. Now they go out after them. There are 50 seconds to go in the first half. The game is tied, 39 all. Memphis State has dominated the last four minutes here. After Bill Walsh to take it out with three fouls. There's the clock. Try and get the last good shot of the half. Now the secret of this is to set it up and get the good shot, but not too early. Maybe with about five to go. Shot up by Finch. Maybe too early. Seven seconds. Five. They fire guns it. And there's a buzzer, and what a first half that was. Memphis State battled the national champ, UCLA, dead even. of the first half of play in tonight's National Collegiate Basketball Championship final, our score, Memphis State 39, UCLA 39. Uh-oh, not good. Okay, boys, time to go to work. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Want to keep your car looking pit crew perfect? Introducing DuPont Teflon Car Care Products. When you use DuPont Teflon Wax, Protect, and Tire Shine, dirt, mud, and grime have a hard time sticking. So your car practically keeps itself shiny. DuPont Teflon Car Care Products, a miracle of science from DuPont. You know what's insane? You can control the Black Eyed Peas with the push of a button. H be fresh, G E F, that's right, we definitely right. We definite, black eyed peas, we reppin' it. Turn up the radio, the blast is stereo, The music, the stuff, it all comes together right here. Best Buy. Thousands of possibilities. Get yours. Hey, hi. You wanna save money on gas? How about 10%? Huh? How would you like a $25 marathon cash card, too? Get the Marathon Platinum MasterCard from Chase and receive a 10% rebate. That's about 18 cents a gallon. Plus, you get that $25 Marathon cash card. Here's an application. Sure. Thanks. I gotta go. I need it on pump five. Go! <laughs> broadband you're ready to go visit vonage.com or call 1-800-972-4VON now available at best buy comp usa and office depot Tom. Here's 
Here's Larry Finch going into the basket, guarded by Larry Hollifield. Goes into Ronnie Robinson. Robinson turns around for his turnaround jumper, and he is called for charging. And it's UCLA's ball, and the Memphis State fans say, no way. So we'll have a brief pause while the ice is cleaned up from the floor. Incidentally, in the consolation game, Indiana took third place in this tournament. Indiana defeated Providence 97 to 89. Well, the young Indiana team surprised. They won the Big Ten championship. One state Saturday, Tom, they had four freshmen and a sophomore on the floor one time in that game. And they gave UCLA a real struggle in the second half. They won third place by beating Providence College 97 79. Right now, a four point lead for UCLA. 12 and a half minutes to play. Lita Walton. And a foul. Call underneath. Here's a replay on West West Ball. He nearly tackled it. That's three team foul. Third foul on West Ball. And the third team foul on Memphis. Bill Walton, whose father is a district supervisor of the San Diego County Welfare Department. He had a brother that played college football at UCLA. He's ever played in a losing game in high school or college. He's played 128 games in a row without a loss in high school and college. 52-47. Flagrant foul and two shots have been given. As I said, they almost tackled him. That's 53-47 UCLA. 34 points for Bill Walton. That's his high of the season, I believe. I think 31 is his high. Our score, UCLA, 55 and Memphis State, 47. It's so easy to use Geico.com, a caveman could do it. What? <laughs> Oh, no, I, not cool. I did not no. know you were there. I could, no, I can change. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It's so easy to use Geico.com, a caveman could do it. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Do you hear that? That is really condescending. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Prepare. The journey awaits. Fight that you may prove yourself a true master. And if you conquer those who would deny your destiny, you shall be written into the legend of the Jade Empire. Rated M for Mature. Here's a fun fact. Erected in 1963, the walnut stands 15 feet high. I'll be in the car. Go where you want with your free weekend from Avis. Orca! Orca! Oh, I love Orca. I thought you loved the humpback. I recently changed my mind. But I thought we established that the orca was mine. Now rent for a week and get a free weekend to use later. Find our lowest prices at avis.com. Hammer throw is tough. It isn't just you against a nine pound ball. It's you against yourself. It's pure concentration. And you have to dig deep inside to find every throw. It's brutal. I had to study biomedical engineering just to relax. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us are going pro in something other than sports. Real Classics Extra, Sports Movies Plus, our bottom line of info and facts throughout the entire movie. Sunday, Barbara Streisand and Ryan O'Neill star in the main event.
Meal Classics Extra, 8 Eastern Sunday on ESPN Classic. When you've got a serious leak, it's time for Leak Ender 2000. It fixes any leak fast. No matter what's leaking, just spray it with Leak Ender 2000. And in minutes, the leak is sealed. Look, we'll cut this garden hose with a knife. Then shut off the water and spray on Leak Ender 2000. Minutes later, the hose is as good as new. The cut is sealed. Leak Ender 2000 is a unique compound that fills and seals any crack or separation as it hardens. Why put up with gushing gutters, dripping drains, wet windowsills, and rain-soaked RVs? Leak Ender 2000 stops all those leaks, and it's yours for only $14.95. Call now and we'll double your order. We'll send you this giant size can at no extra charge. Order now. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free 1-800-883-5995 or send check or money order for $14.95 plus $5.95 shipping to the address on your screen. Call 1-800-883-5995.
the 53. Here's a replay. Keenum going up for his jump hooker. There's Walton, and you can see him tapping the wrist of Keenum as he follows through with the shot. Bill Walton has four fouls. No movement on that UCLA bench.
see before he released the shot, so it was a good call. But I'm popular with the Memphis State fans. Johnny Wood, you know, makes a prediction every year to himself. He writes what he thinks his team's regular season record will be, puts it in an envelope, and hides it away. Then he gets it out when the regular season is over. I asked him, what did you put down this year? He said, I hit it right on the nose, Kurt. I picked our team not to lose the game during the regular season. That's a height of optimism. Too. That really is. That basket counts for Larry Finch to give him 26 points in the game. 59 UCLA. Now 69 to 60 UCLA. Larry Finch has scored 11 out of 13 free throws and 27 points. Oh, banking it in again. 71 to 60. 40 points for Bill Walton. at himself. The ball is on the rim and he shoved it in for Memphis State. Even Johnny Wooden smiled on that one. That's 29 points for Larry Fitch. He got credit for the master. 71 62 UCLA. Wilkes again. Walton tips it in. 73 62. 42 points for Bill Walton. The Redhead has gone absolutely wild tonight. Bench up. Walton clears the board. Takes his time. 5.45 to play. UCLA leading by 11 points as they call timeout. And with a timeout. It's UCLA, 73, Memphis State, 62. Our most advanced engineering, our most luxurious appointments, are all found behind one grill. The Denali Line by GMC. Wait, did you see that? Go back. Clearly, that woman is trying to get more fiber and calcium in her diet. Now, it's so much easier with new Metamucil capsules plus calcium. Metamucil fiber for regularity, plus as much calcium as an 8-ounce glass of milk for strong bones to help prevent osteoporosis. Metamucil capsules plus calcium. Stay regular, stay strong. A rainforest, the ultimate torture test for your deck. Thompson's Water Seal Advanced, the ultimate protection. It seals out 99% of the water right from the start. For a longer-lasting deck, get the most powerful protection against water damage guaranteed. Thompson's Water Seal Advanced. Uh-oh, not good. Okay, boys, time to go to work. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's Want to keep your car looking pit crew perfect? Introducing DuPont Teflon Car Care Products. When you use DuPont Teflon Wax, Protect, and Tire Shine, dirt, mud, and grime have a hard time sticking. So your car practically keeps itself shiny. DuPont Teflon Car Care Products, a miracle of science from DuPont. Before this year's Masters, Sports Century reveals the story of Phil Mickelson. I don't mind if players or media criticize me for reckless play because I have a lot more wins than any of them. Sports Century, Phil Mickelson, 8 p.m. Monday on ESPN Classic. I ran the 800. I studied mechanical engineering and industrial design. I was a conference champion. I graduated with a GPA of 3.2. It took hard work discipline and stamina and believe me i rely on those things every day raising my daughter there are over 360,000 ncaa student athletes and just about all of us are going pro in something other than sports memphis state's going to an all-court press now they're trailing by 11 with 540 to play Great defense 
defensive job, keeping good position on this man. He's only 5'10", he's a mover out there. That's the 15th foul on UCLA.
four for UCLA, but Larry Farmer will be back next year. That's right. They graduate three seniors this year. That's Larry Farmer, Swim Nader, and Larry Hollifield. But on the court right now, Greg Lee, Tommy Curtis, Bill Walton, and Keith Wilkes are juniors, and they'll all be back next year. And a good-looking freshman team coming up. Mr. 
personality, a gentleman, and he's really showed these fans here what Memphis State is all about. They love him. You notice how Fitch went over and ate a Bill Walton off the court. That's the type of guy right. he is. 58 seconds to go. UCLA has repeated as National Collegiate Champ for the seventh year in a row. And they're already over there in the bench holding up number one again. But that's just become sort of a, a take it for granted ritual with UCLA. They're used to it. And Johnny Wooden always says to them, don't get out there now and over celebrate. Show the poise of champion. If you lose, lose with pride. Keep your heads up. If you win, don't lord it over the other team. Larry Farmer wrapping up his career. Keith Wilt will be back next year. How do you stop this dog or not? the New York Yankees of baseball. There's a composite of the high men, Walt with 44, Fitch with 29. 53 seconds to go. Donnie Wooden has his bench in there now. Carson. At the free throw line is Gary Franklin. He's a junior from Reseda. They have a red shirt player called Andre McCarter you're going to hear about next year. He set out a year red shirting. They'll be favored again. Franklin lets it go. 85-66 UCLA. Nader. Memphis State is Jim Liss in the game. Doug McKinney. At the line now is Jerry Tetzlaff. You know, beyond that winning streak of UCLA, this is their 75th win in a row. The only player suited up for every one of those wins has been Larry Farmer. The only player. Tommy Curtis has the rebound. 20 seconds to go. We want to thank Art Hoffman and Dennis Venetia tonight for their fine job on the business. Art Hoffman and Dennis Venetia. The is good by Tommy Curtis. And history again. UCLA has won another national championship. the last 10 for Johnny Wood, the Wizard of Westwood, Gene Bardo very graciously congratulates him, 42-year-old coach, Johnny Wood, 63 years old, but you know beyond that 75 in a row UCLA was won tonight, they have won 94 of their last 95 games, and they have won 144 of their last 146 games, they're cutting down the net symbolic of the national title. That's the final score. UCLA 87, Memphis State 66. The stupid things people do with their bets. Cheap seats Monday on ESPN Classic. But Havlicek steals it. Havlicek stole the ball. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Hello, I'm Chris Fowler for Sports Century. With his visage strictly etched along American Gothic lines, he stands tall not only in the pantheon of college basketball coaching, but also in our fading legend of traditional values. As a native Midwesterner at UCLA during a chaotic era of social change, 
John Wooden won an unprecedented 10 national titles by lovingly and insistently teaching his players the principles of life through a visual model he called the pyramid of success. Be quick, but don't hurry. It's about what is correct, not who is correct. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Do not mistake activity for achievement. Happiness begins when selfishness ends. He was an English teacher early in his career. And a lot of the homilies that he would share with his team, the kinds of things you could see a teacher in a one-room schoolhouse in the 20s or the 30s posting on the wall. For him, uh, it was not necessarily uh, wins and losses, but how he affected young men's lives. Winning and losing was not talked about during the year. There may be a halftime speech that revolved around the vocabulary word enthusiasm or industriousness. He would attack the situation by dealing with some aspect of the pyramid of success. All the human values, all the personal characteristics that he preached to us that we would need in our life to be eventually successful, that's what the pyramid is all about. Best coaching record in the history of basketball. Ten national championships in 12 years. 88 game winning streak. And maybe the best of all that no one talks about, 38 in a row in the tournament. He won his first championship with guards as his main players. And then he won with centers. And then he won with forwards. He never scouted other teams. And that to me said something about confidence in him as a coach, the confidence that he had with his players that if they went out and played their game, they didn't have to worry about anything that the other team was going to do because they were so prepared to play against it. He was so detailed that the first day of practice, he literally showed you, gentlemen, this is how we put our socks on, you know, we make sure there's no wrinkles, because there's no wrinkles in your blisters. He knew to the precise second where we were supposed to be on the court and what he wanted to do instructionally. Wooden was so basic in everything he did. You could break down film and you knew exactly what they were going to do, but you just couldn't stop him. John Wooden's on another cloud. I mean, everybody's, everybody else is looking up and he's like some rain god. He's just raining down on them. But he's the best coach our country's ever produced. With his 10 national championships more than doubling the 4 1 by the runner up Adolph Rupp, John Wooden stands alone with cool, some say even chilly, serenity. At times, John was above the rest of us. You, you felt that. He wasn't one of the guys, so to speak. Like, oh yeah, he's here and we're here. We're not good enough. There were a lot of coaches that resented not only his success, certainly, but they resented that he tried to camouflage the raging inferno that built up underneath highest line of it not really being important to win, but rather simply to get the best out of what you could be. But at the same time, this was a man who was very impatient with lack of success, very impatient with losing. Look at Bill, look at Bill, look at Bill, look at Bill. Give him to it, over the top, over here, over the Larry. There's this perception of John Wooden. He is this saint-like creature and so calm, so reserved. But there's also the side of Coach Wooden that he is this cage tiger. Don't forget that Coach Wooden was one of the first great basketball players ever. If you see an old picture of Coach, he kind of looks like he was chiseled out of marble. He was all business. When you played against Johnny Wooden, uh, you knew you had a uh, ball of fire on your hands. You look in those beady eyes and that pointed nose and those ears that are like wings and, and the wiriness that he's a mean, tough, hard-nosed competitor. John Wooden rode players and coaches like Leo DeRocher in baseball. He was vicious. He has the image of the parson, but he had that rolled-up program, and he would talk to the opposing players through that rolled-up program. It's a guy from Duke, Bob Verga, uh, who was an All-American. As soon as Verga would come close to him, Lucius Allen's gonna eat you up tonight. You haven't seen anybody as quick as Lucius Allen. I can't wait to get him on you. Bob Verga's going, he said, is that Coach Wooden talking to me? He could make a player cry with the things he said, and he never swore. Take the stick alive! 
And he said, grace is sex alive. I mean, the hairs on your neck stood up. You knew you were in big trouble. Bill, how many times must I talk to you about throwing that ball down the middle? If you wanted to play at UCLA, you did it the John Wooden way. He was a control freak when it came to basketball. If he didn't like what he saw, he would sometimes stop practice, close the gym, lock it, send the guys out, tell them to come back tomorrow. He had players leave the team. He had players who were disciplined, players who were scolded publicly as well as privately by Wooden. So there were always contradictions in this whole image that John Wooden had as being the saintly school teacher type. He can't be St. Francis of Assisi uh, sitting there on the sidelines. He's really General Patton underneath it all. Are you tired of wearing food in your lap? Ugh. Does that old-fashioned TV tray have you painfully hunched over? When you need to get closer, there's TableMate. TableMate makes whatever you're doing more comfortable. Its ingenious design allows you to sit back, relax, and slide the table right up to your body. You'll love getting close to TableMate. Whether it's eating, reading, or writing, TableMate will serve your family well. Ouch, cross-leg trays force you to the edge, but TableMate slides to you for more comfort. It easily adjusts to six different heights and three comfortable angles. It's like having 18 tables in one. TableMate's extra large surface transforms from a kid's art easel to a yummy snack server in a snap. Converts from a convenient card table to the most comfortable laptop workstation you'll ever find. And when you're done, it folds flat for storage or stacks for easy access. TableMate is extremely lightweight, yet strong enough to hold up to 50 pounds and still slides with the touch of a finger. Amazing! Use TableMate to tailgate, poolside, on the boat or RV. It's the most portable table you'll ever use. You could spend over $250 on different tables to do what just one TableMate can, but you won't pay that. Call now and get the incredible TableMate for only $29.95. But it gets better. For our special TV customers, we'll also include this remote control organizer, a $20 value free. It's ideal for keeping all your remotes in one safe place. It conveniently fits over any armrest and even stores your TV books and snacks. Yours free. TableMate comes with a lifetime replacement guarantee. If it ever breaks, buckles, or bends, we'll replace it free for life. You get the TableMate, remote organizer, and the lifetime guarantee, an $80 value, all for just $29.95. And when you call, ask how to get a TableMate free. Call now. Call 1-800-960-9229 to order your TableMate for $29.95 and find out how you can get another TableMate free. This incredible offer won't last. Call 1-800-960-9229. John Wooden was shaped by the values of early 20th century Middle America. Born in Hall, Indiana on October 14, 1910, his first and most enduring influence was his father, Joshua. He really idolizes his dad. He's based a tremendous amount of who he is and what he does on little things that his dad gave him. He has two sets of sayings from his father, uh, don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal. Don't whine, don't complain, don't make excuses. My own idea of success came about because of my dad trying to teach me and my brothers on the farm that never try to be better than someone else. I always learn from others uh, and, and never cease trying to be the best you can be. When Wooden was in his early teens, the family farm was lost after crop failures and bad investments. Eight years later, on the eve of his wedding in 1932, Wooden lost his life savings of $909 when the local bank closed in the Great Depression. This has contributed to what I think it was an enduring insecurity about him, that no matter how large the accomplishment, whether it was winning national championships or running off long win streaks, these accomplishments were very fragile. It would just take the slightest little hit uh, to knock everything down. He rang a little scare, which I think he always did. Throughout his coaching life, it drives you forward. He saw the shadow of his dad losing that farm. It never really quite went away. Driven by his family's misfortune, Wooden applied the principles laid down by his father. A three-time All-American, he led Purdue to the 1932 national title and graduated with honors. After 11 years as a high school coach, an English teacher, and two more seasons as head coach of Indiana State, Wooden accepted the top job at UCLA, far from his roots in middle America. 
There were new things that John Wooden had never experienced on a farm in Indiana. You had drugs and different lifestyles and everything. He coached during the Vietnam War. He coached during the era of black power. He coached in shifting, turbulent, awesome times. He was able to win in an era when things must have seemed just tremendously alien to him on so many levels. He actually sat in on UCLA psychology classes to learn more about human nature. We would have these incredible discussions all the time about how the world was changing. We'd be quoting Bob Dylan. One time he just got so frustrated though, he just said, hey, I'm sick and tired of this Dylan guy. I don't want to hear any more of this guy Dylan, okay? Here were all these students who were always testing authority, testing the establishment. And here is one of the great conformists, probably of all time. They were constantly at war with the coach and accusing the coach of interfering with their private lives and trying to impose his buttoned down uh, Norman Rockwell values on them. John Wooden's a very religious man, and in some ways, he treated the game religiously. It wasn't just winning, that you really wanted to win the right way. You wanted your players to look the right way, and you wanted them to behave the right way. We fought and we battled about dress code, about hair length, about everything under the sun. I was two-time NCAA Player of the Year, and Coach Wooden came in. He looked at me and said, well, that's not good enough. Your hair is too long, and you haven't shaved recently enough. Bill rides out, this is crazy, this is terrible. It was my personal freedom. He said, you don't have the right to tell me how to belong to well or my hair. And I said, no, Bill, I don't. I don't at all. I just have the right to say who's going to play and, and we're going to miss you. We were not going to recognize our position on the team. So I had jumped in the barber chair and said, cut it all off. Coach Wooden, he won every argument. There was never you know, a chance of you usurping his position of authority. Even though we didn't like things he did, we may not have liked him sometimes, we always respected him. Nobody in our office was as productive as Clay. Of course, he's got a natural advantage. I six. It's easier when you have 12 fingers. 12 fingered little B, busy, busy, busy. Now everyone can do more for less. Upgrade your office with Dell desktops, featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors with HT technology. Call 1 800 Dell Biz today to get the latest deals on systems for your small business. Right now, get double the memory for free, plus free shipping on select systems. Other select desktops start at only $349. Get more of productivity with Dell. Get more of now. The Final Four is set, and no one's got it covered like ESPN News. Expert analysis, scores, stats, and highlights, plus live post-game news conferences. Your source for end-to-end -end coverage of the Final Four is ESPN News. Real Classics Extra. Sports Movies Plus. Our bottom line of info and facts throughout the entire movie. Sunday, Barbara Streisand and Ryan O'Neill star in the main event. Real Classics Extra, 8 Eastern Sunday on ESPN Classic. If you've got broadband, you're ready to go. Call 1-800-925-4VON or visit Vonage.com. Also available at these fine retailers. Own a timeshare or campground membership? Turn it into cash. Timeshare's only got us our full asking price in just a few weeks. Our timeshare was rented before our next monthly payment was due. Timeshares Only is the nation's largest, number one most successful timeshare agency, representing properties from the biggest names in the industry. No one sells more timeshares. You owe it to yourself to work with the best. Timeshares Only, the most trusted name in timeshares. Don't delay. Call 800-789-0044 now. There are a lot of John Wooden stories. One of them is he is probably the most superstitious man I've ever been around. And superstitious from the standpoint that when we sat on the bench, uh, he had a routine he had to go through. He'd do a whole thing. They touch his leg, you know, spit on the floor, wipe it with his shoe. I don't know if it was voodoo or what. Whatever he was doing, it worked. <laughs> We'd be walking down the street, 
and uh, he'd see a penny, he'd pick it up and he'd put it in the left instep of his shoe and he said, that's one more victory. Wooden superstitions, faith in God, and pyramid of success did not immediately propel UCLA to national prominence. In his first 13 seasons, the Bruins only got into three NCAA tournaments, and each time they lost their first game. He suffered some tough times. He came close to getting fired at UCLA. In his early UCLA years, he was uh, described by one of his assistant coaches as not an imaginative coach. What did he do from 1948 to 1964? He was basically unknown. It took a long time to grow into Goliath. And when he did, I mean, there were no Davids. Wooden's rise to prominence was helped by former player Jerry Norman, whom he hired as an assistant in 1957. Jerry Norman was the one that got out there and beat the bushes and started getting the players. Jerry Norman was the one who always said, we should full court press. We needed to create the tempo and we needed to alleviate size as a problem. The zone press would be a method to accomplish that. In three minutes, we could score 20 points off the press. I mean, you can't believe it. Teams would just self-destruct. The combined effect of the Bruin Blitz and Wooden's fast break offense took UCLA to NCAA titles in 1964 and 65. Success bred success. New York high school phenom Lou Alcindor joined Wooden and Westwood. Beginning in 1967, UCLA won seven straight national championships. It was a lot easier to be a dynasty back then, I think, especially the way the NCAA tournament was set up. You, you didn't have as many rounds, you didn't have as many teams. Still, he was the greatest. He had to win the conference every year. You didn't even qualify for the NCAA if you didn't win the conference. So that in itself was a remarkable feat. Wooden's unmatched success would be clouded by a wealthy contractor whose friendship and open-handed generosity were extended to many of the players. His pyramid of success. There's one block in that pyramid missing. Sam Gilbert. <laughs> That's right at the top. Sam Gilbert was the sugar daddy of UCLA basketball. They can deny it, but believe me, he would buy it. What do you look at your role, what it has been with UCLA and with the athletes? Well, I think uh, Kareem said it properly, and so many of the others. Uh, basically, I think more of a surrogate father. Gilbert's influence began in 1967, when his largesse helped deter two key players from transferring. Sam Gilbert was probably the most central figure in keeping uh, Lou Alcindor and myself at UCLA. He opened up his house and his family actually accepted me and it was like my family. Sam Gilbert purchased the players tickets and gave them scalpers prices for the tickets, which is an NCAA violation. They received cars either for free or for cut rate wholesale deals. They received stereos. They had abortions taken care of when that was required. The idea that Sam was paying players and giving players a lot of freebies for my personal experience was not true. But in terms of getting great discounts, Sam Gilbert was the guy to go through. They were John Wooden's players on the court. But once they stepped off the court, they were Sam Gilbert's players. All I can do is tell my players to be careful. I was concerned that he might be doing things at times. I never knew, actually. I suspicioned. Coach Wooden chose to ignore Sam Gilbert and to just bury his head in the sand. John Wooden wanted to win, and the benefit of having Sam Gilbert there far outweighed the occasional aggravation and the creeping doubt that maybe Sam was doing something that was unethical. I'd go so far as to say, I think he probably did things during my tenure. What frustrated a lot of people was that Coach didn't kind of do a big mea culpa about Sam Gilbert, when the truth of it is, there's nothing he could have done to stop Sam Gilbert from being Sam Gilbert. Six years after the Wizard of Westwood retired in 1975, the NCAA placed UCLA on two years probation, and Gilbert was told to stay away from the program. 
to say that Sam Gilbert was a positive influence and, and a factor in UCLA winning national championships is a big, big stretch. Nobody had ever heard of Sam Gilbert in 64 when UCLA went 30 and 0. John Wooden's accomplishments have to be seen through the prism of his involvement with Sam Gilbert. However distant it was personally, they have to be seen as tainted, poisoned. I don't think John would ever admit that he, he turned the other way from it. Tried to tolerate the best he could, knowing if you don't have these players, you're not gonna have a team. Whether Wooden's place in history was compromised by the presence of Gilbert, one part of his life was beyond reproach. No crunches ever. Introducing the amazing new Ab Lounge, scientifically designed to make the crunch as we know it a thing of the past. Ab Lounge gets you up off the floor, strengthening and toning your abdominals using the biomechanically advanced Ab Lounge Jack Knife, proven in university testing to be better for your body. When you compare the Ab Lounge to a standard crunch, well, there just is no comparison. The advanced Ab Lounge Jack Knife generates up to 75% more muscle activity in the upper and lower abdominals, and an amazing 268% more the love handle obliques. It's as easy to do as a crunch, but the efficient ab lounge design makes every move really count, targeting your abs without wasted effort. And because ab lounge gets you up off the floor, you have a wider range of motion, allowing you to stretch beyond 180 degrees for ultimate results. With the advanced science of ab lounge, you're not working harder, you're working smarter. You're not straining your neck and back with old-fashioned crunches. You're up off the floor in padded comps. You. you also get a complete lifestyle system, including a jackknife toning routine on the Ab Lounge, a healthy eating guide, and an aerobic workout designed to maximize your results. I have this one pair of jeans. After just eight weeks, my fat jeans don't really fit anymore. I lost 14 pounds. I also lost inches on my waist and went down two pant sizes. Built with a rolled steel frame, the Ab Lounge can support up to 275 pounds. Custom foot pedals adjust to match your height, and it quickly folds and stores just about anywhere. With Ab Lounge, your head, neck, and back are always supported. Ab Lounge is so easy, almost anyone can use it. Call now, and you can try the Ab Lounge in your home for a full 30 days for just $14.95. Order today, and we'll throw in the shipping for free. If you don't agree that the Ab Lounge is the best way to tighten and tone your abs, just send it back within the 30 days for a refund of your $14.95. No questions asked. Call now and say goodbye to crunches forever. Before this year's Masters, Sports Century reveals the story of Phil Mickelson. I don't mind if players or media criticize me for reckless play because I have a lot more wins than any of them. Sports Century, Phil Mickelson, 8 p.m. Monday on ESPN Classic. The stupid things people do with their bets. Cheap seats Monday on ESPN Classic. Wherever Johnny went, why, Nelly was with him. I never saw him ever walking with anybody else but Nelly. Back in Martinsville High School, young John Wooden took Nellie Riley's hand and never let go. Nellie's house was back door to Coach Glenn Curtis's house. Coach Curtis had a real strict rule about the boys on the team not visiting their girlfriends or being around the girls, so Coach Wooden had to sneak around a little bit to be with Nellie. Nellie was much more demonstrative and, and much more uh, open and vocal, and I think she was able to bring him out of his shell, so to speak. My mother was Irish and had this fiery little temper, and Daddy was very calm, and so they made a perfect balance. It was very, very special. Throughout Wooden's 40-year coaching career, Nell raised their two children, Nan and Jim, and was a source of strength to her husband. She would go on road trips and stuff to a lot of the games with us. That was one of the things he had in his contract, that Nell could go. I can always remember my grandfather making sure before these games that he could actually get a look at her and a little wink, and I thought that was neat. I thought it meant that basketball wasn't everything to him. The impression that really stuck with me was that he's not the boss of his house. Even though we have this view of Coach Wooden as being the ultimate almighty, Nell is the one that really ran the show. Dad was totally dependent on my mom. My mom put his tie out, put his shoes out, put his clothes out. Always supportive in every way. And, uh... Um... 
comes down to the most important word in our language, just love. In March of 1985, Nell died of cancer at 73. He kind of, for a year or so, just kind of went into a hermit's type of living, I think. We were really worried about my grandfather. He really almost stopped his will to live. He's a very strong religious man, and I really believe that knowing that if he was to take his own life, that would eliminate his only hope to ever see my grandmother again. Every month, he writes a letter to Nell, and he takes it and he folds it and he puts it in an envelope and it sits on her pillow. I wanted to write a book about loyalty. And Coach Wooden and his wife Nell, John Wooden said, okay. Uh, we made a date and he came to the door and he has tears. And he says, Rick, it's, it hasn't been long enough. I can't do it, I can't talk about her. And she'd been dead 16 years. Anytime you talk to Coach, he will mention Nellie. He always carries an 8 by 10 picture of Nellie with him wherever he goes. He won't move from the condominium that they own. He won't change it. He won't take the curtains down and put shutters because that's the way Mom had it, and that's the way she wanted it, and that's the way he wants to keep it. When she passed away, he didn't want to go to the Final Four. It wasn't that he didn't like the game. It was just not going to be the same without Nell there. His memories of Final Four were totally wrapped around her. In 1995, 10 years after Nell's death, Wooden was in the stands when UCLA won its first NCAA championship since his retirement. With the joys of his life diminished by the absence of his wife, Wooden continued to teach his pyramid of success. Even if my grandfather would have never, ever won a championship at UCLA, he would still be the exact same person he is today. And I don't think his values would have ever changed. I don't think you really realize the profound impact that this man has on you until later in life, and especially when you go through adversity. You know, I've gotten calls from him at, at low points in my life. You know, I had a son that drowned in 1987, and Coach Wooden you know, called and talked to me for quite some time. I carry around Coach Wooden's Pyramid of Success in my wallet. And every time I'm struggling, every time I'm having difficulty, I just pop it open and take a look and review because that is a foundation for success and happiness in life. The greatest tool that a teacher can have is love. And we saw it in Poly Pavilion every single day. He never took the credit for our successes. He always said it was us and never said it was him. In March of 1947, a month before Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in the major leagues, John Wooden took a swing at racial intolerance. The National Association of Intercollegiate Basketball barred a black reserve and his Indiana State team from its postseason tournament. Wooden declined the invitation. A year later, the NAIB reconsidered its policy, and Clarence Walker, became the first African-American to participate in a collegiate postseason tournament. For Sports Century, I'm Chris Fowler. Sports Century, Phil Nicholson, Monday on ESPN Classic. Could have a check steal.